Okay, this is the cutting of the Cincinnati drug take back box. The box itself is simple. The guidelines clear and direct. We have to be able to see it and it has to be bolted down so it's secure and so that no one can take it away and no one can get in it. Once you put something in, it has a little thing so that you can't get it out. But the presence of this secured and monitored disposal container inside the Northside Health Center marks a big step in effectively removing prescription medications from an at-home medicine cabinet. I think we have to be more proactive, really determining what the needs are for our communities, leaning forward, and get out of the business of being reactive. So I think this is a step in the right direction. Statistics back up this step, indicating that legally prescribed opioids can often end up in the hands of abusers. News 5 partnered with police agencies as part of a national drug take-back day this weekend. Law enforcement officials described the day as impactful in removing the drugs from our streets. Public health officials describe the effectiveness of these combined efforts. I think for so long we've just been trying to put tourniquets on the situation and keep people alive. Uh, the Narcan distribution efforts have been tremendous. Now the impact of the drug take back weekends brought about 900,000 pounds of drugs off the streets across the country. 4,000 of those coming from the streets of Cincinnati. Reporting in Cincinnati, Richard Childs, WLWT News 5.